Excellent day. I was extremely pleased, the focus, the execution, offense, defense, special teams. I mean, I really was. That's nice. That is very happy where we're at mentally right now. Anxious to see us take it to the field. We need to because it's going to be a very tough opponent. And uh, on the road, that's always a tough place to play. And they're 4-0 and playing well. So anxious to see how we do this. I really am. And uh, very, very pleased with how this week ended up. Questions? How would you express uh, the uh, special teams from the front teams? Excellent. I, I think special team, we made it. We had a lot of progress last week. We got to continue to kick the ball well, which we have all week. <coughs> Coverage lanes, getting things down. Uh, special teams is always huge in our in our preparation, especially field position wise, and uh, very happy with where we're at. Coach, even out there with speakers blasting crowd noise, is it possible to duplicate? What it's well, like? you you can as much as you can. I mean, at least it just creates distraction to keep you to focus that way, and you never can duplicate everything because you still got the pressure of the game. But that's the best we can do. You think James would be better under pressure than EJ was in 2012? I don't know that EJ was pretty good. Now, I mean, I don't that would. You say, EJ, that, that was a team loss. I mean, you, you put on the quarterback. Quarterbacks get all the glory and all the blame, but there was a lot of mistakes in that, in that game in the second half that had nothing to do with EJ. EJ made a few himself, but EJ was a heck of a player, so one of the great players in Florida State history. So, uh, you know, hopefully Jameis will, will continue to grow there and everybody will handle the pressure. If uh, Pender can't go, does that mean Carlos takes more reps than usual? That, or? that and we'll play Cook. we got Cook ready to go. Ryan Green's ready to go. Uh, we'll have all those guys in that rotation. Mario and Mario, are they both out? Yes, most likely they'll be out. Yes. How is, right. I'm sorry, guys. Just the defensive line without Nile, without Mario, how have they? The ends have been great. We played the whole second half last week without him, you know what I mean? And uh, getting Shanks back in there also. So we got him back in there. So that keeps that rotation as far as number wise. We'll be in good shape. Coach, how far has Ryan Green come along? Hey, we'll find out. I mean, he's getting better. <laughs> I mean, he, he's getting better. He hadn't played in the game yet, but his knowledge and practice and health wise, he's very good. Hey, I'll tell you what, he is one explosive son of a gun. He should play. He should be playing if uh, if Pender doesn't go. Well, Cook will play first, and then okay. we'll try to work Ryan in. There. We'll see. You said earlier in the week you were hoping to get expand the receiver rotation a little bit. Yes, right? fifteen and one have had tremendous weeks. I'm very proud of what that there. Sometimes it takes you. You have a great week, then you hit that freshman itis. I call it. Then they kind of, and all of a sudden, man, it just clicks back in. And I, they are playing fast. They know what to do. Uh, very happy with their progress, and they'll definitely play. And that's not because of any. Lack of happiness with anybody else. I, I, they're they're ready. They're, I, I think they're really ready. Do you think the emotional win last week helps you going into this? Well, we'll find out. Sometimes you know where you let down, where you go. I, I think we have by the week of practice and the preparation we've had. So hopefully that was a starting point, not an exclamation point. <laughs> How is this the uh, defensive line pressure? I'm sorry. The defensive line pressure this week coming in. I hope so. I hope we got we got to affect the quarterback. He can throw the ball, and we got to control the running game up front, and we got to be able to affect him in the pocket. There's no doubt. Coach, what about a Mar Marcus Leadway? Is has he? Made I tell you what, he there, yes, there, he looked really good in practice. He was in team drills, running, hitting people. And I had to yell at him for hitting people when he wasn't supposed to. But I guess you've been locked up that long. As far as uh, not being able to hit anybody in practice and do those kind of things, you know, been been on the sideline, you, uh, you you're ready to go. He looked really. I, I, I saw some really good things out of him yesterday and today. Do you expect him to be able to? I will have to wait and see how it goes and how he feels. We'll have to see how he feels after those hard days of practice, but it could. What would he give you? I mean, what does he give you? Just Oh, experience, help? athleticism, size, speed. I mean, he's a physical, big, athletic guy. I mean, extremely physical now. Cook excited about the opportunity? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's ready. Cook's been excited. He's been ready to go for a while. Do you talk about him that? Do you talk to him about that, you know, just getting more reps and, and a bigger workload. Really. Yeah, we do. And just how, and then how you handle it and how your work ethic is and keep showing us that you're ready to go. And I think he is. He's had a really good week of practice. I think he's been ready to go for a while. Just playing three of them was just a little more difficult. With Lane, I mean, the three, a lot of people talked about Cook and Rudolph and Lane, you know, yep. before. Is it good just after a few games? Just Is that part of it you feel like? No that? doubt. No doubt. I mean, you get here and it's – a little different than you thought sometimes because of the strain and the day in, day out grind and how hard you practice different from high school and you know, then adjusting to school and getting all that stuff. And then all of a sudden it starts to click and then you relax. And, and, I, and I, what I've seen them is, as I say, it's like you take a deep breath and you go, oh, I can do this. And then, man, you're starting to see them play fast and you see all their athleticism. They made a bunch of plays the last two days. Rashad made the comment earlier in the week that they sometimes freshmen have to you be careful what they ask for. You know, say so get opportunities, and then they have to there's no out. doubt now that uh, all the, all y'all you got them built up to they're gonna come in and start from day one and, and catch 700 balls and run for 1,200 yards. And uh, 
then they get up here and say, you know, there's some guys around here pretty good too. <laughs> but then they realize I can play here and they assignments, you know, and, and the thing that gets them all is consistency. They'll do it for a day or two, but then, okay, you know, it's like I've been, I, I kind of relax. Well, everybody's doing it consistent and they got to learn that. And it's just like, it's clicked all of a sudden. Coach, without Mario, you have to be confident having Cash or being able to just step right in there. Oh, I do. I mean, the way he played last week and the way he's practiced, and those, that's why I say, and I'm really pleased with those young guys. I mean, Featherston is going to be a heck of a player. I mean, Ricky Leonard coming on in there, Jacob Pugh, uh, Demarcus Walker, all those guys are doing a great job. We're good. Thank you all. I can tell you who's out, I guess. I mean, we got a leg way out, but he's practiced pretty well. We'll, we'll judge how he goes. I mean, we're, we're being cautious that way. Pender, and then you got Colin Blake Lawrence and Pure Foy all this season.